So I'm back home temporarily for only a couple of hours on this vacation and uh, we were going through this old box of my belongings and there's some pretty incredible, will you hold this out just Absolutely. as a good example? There's some pretty incredible stuff in here that I really want to share with the world including this very large, I, can't, I really can't even fit it in the frame, Donkey Kong 64, sure another great game. <laughs> It really could only From fit. Rare. It could only really fit on Donkey Kong himself. Right. It's a DK size DK That's right, shirt. They only made it in this size, I believe. Uh, and this is really just the beginning. So what we're yeah. gonna do is we're gonna look through here. I haven't looked at any of this yet. Oh, I remember this. A friend of mine made me a Zelda pillow out of a T-shirt. That's pretty cool. Uh, this says Namco on it. Nice. Any? Do you have any guesses as to what it could be? Uh. What would? What was Namco making when I was in middle school and high school? Man, championship edition. Mm, that's a little earlier than that. Huh? Is it just a Nanko shirt? I don't know. Let's find out. What's on the back? Hold it open. No, no, no. It's Soul a Calibur. Soul Caliber 3 shirt. Tight. I didn't even know so that was wide. Nanko. So, yeah. so wide. <laughs> very, very wow, broad. Wow. That's like a short, short shirt. Short and wide shirt. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, we got Stuntman. Stuntman. From the... God. I, so, like, for context, I spent a, almost all my income as a middle schooler uh, on eBaying shirts from E3, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Then created the Blockbuster Series driver, we got Stuntman. I really enjoyed the GBA Stuntman game, so how's my drive-in called? www.stuntman-game.com. No idea if that URL still Tight. works. Uh, this, oh, this is amazing I right swear, here. Dude. I used to wear this to work at GameStop. Oh. Check this out. All right, so this is a, a black and gray, kind of a cool-looking uh, polo shirt. This is Game Boy Advance SP on it. It's got a little zip, zipper right here, and a collar, which is rare for a shirt The best like this. part. What is this? It's a dry tech, which is always nice to see. And then we got then, the most and Then on the sleeve here, wow. we've got this beautiful sewn GBASP in the two original colors. Is there one on the other Anything sleeve? Anything on the back? No, I think it's just that left sleeve. In the nice. Why have I I'm never seen a red Game Boy SP? I don't I think they're, they weren't super popular. Uh, but I'm taking it's kind of like a bowling shirt. Yeah. It's like, that's definitely going home with me to San Francisco. What is this black shirt here? It says, I know. Oh, gosh. It's not do you? Oh, I know what this is. Do you hear the voices? What's that? It's like Max Eternal Pan. Darkness Sanity's <laughs> Requiem. Insanity. You'll learn to live with it. Cute. Nintendo GameCube. God. And then just a big old GameCube logo in the corner. I, don't, I need more things in my life with GameCube logos on them. True. What could you be? This is Capcom. Capcom. So that's exciting. A Capcom shirt. Mark, you do the do the yeah. honors for me. Script. Flip. It's Devil, a Devil May Cry 2, the most Damn. popular Devil May Cry game of all time. Devil May Cry 2. I remember being, as a young person, a big Devil May Cry 2 apologist. Like, everyone else on Earth thought it was a complete piece of crap. I kind of I kind of like Devil May Cry 2. I can tell on account of that shirt that, that you own. Oh, this is this is good. I, want, I guess we'll do this one in reverse, reverse order. Here's what's on the back. A, a little chicken and a Natsume logo. That could only be one thing. Rest in peace. That would be... A Harvest Moon t-shirt. Did you ever even play the Harvest Moon game? A little bit. I played, okay. like, on N6. I would, like, rent it and stuff. Yeah. You're right, though. There's, like, a... It's a weird shirt for you to own. Oh, this is, like, a... Like, a Keith Haring parody of Sonic. That's kind of cute. That's tight. That's yeah, I like that. Still yeah, still kind of good. That. Yeah, if you guys want to hang on to that, feel free. What's in here? Oh, my God, Mark. Whoa! Mark. Oh, my goodness. A Mercenaries... That logo is a little low down on the chest, I'm noticing. Yeah, it's, it's kind weird. of a weird placement. Is there anything on the back? Yep. Oh, dude. Dude. Menace. Oh, it's like from the Menace. Yeah, the That's Russian so black market in-game. Menace.ru. That URL does not work anymore, unfortunately. Oh, um, Did it just use to like, redirect to the... I might keep this, dude. I might, yeah, absolutely. I might keep this shirt. That's a great shirt. What's next here? Oh, my God. <laughs> what do we got? Sick. Okay, this is one of my favorite shirts I've ever owned. I totally... God, this is so nostalgic for me. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and then on the back, we've got two exclamation marks. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's so good. Why has this not been discovered? I, this has been now? sitting in my closet with like my old Guitar Hero controller just lying there for like probably a decade. At least a decade. Oh my god, my Tim and Eric Night Live shirt. Ooh, I like Night Live. I like Night Live. That's great. That's probably relatively rare in, in terms of... Tim and Eric memorabilia. God, you want to help me with this digging? I've, yeah. It's hard doing this one-handed. I understand. What, on Earth, just got some board shorts. Just a nice pair of board shorts. That's not necessary. Uh, Cup that's, of dirt? That's not my... What's... Here. What are you? Dreamcatcher. I think I know. What did Dreamcatcher make? Flip it over. Give it a quick 180. 
grips and flips. Painkiller, pain very nice. That is not the dude. There's no painkiller. There's no way that this must have been really like that's not even the painkiller logo. This leg. Like, this no, I think this is probably from early in development. This mm. is like probably two E3s before the game came out or something like that. <laughs> Holy crap! I want whatever this is. Looks like this has a GameCube logo on it. Edition. Can I keep this Nintendo GameCube shirt? You may. Please and thank you. Let's see here. It's got a bunch oh, of that's tiny, beautiful. tiny GameCube logos on it. Uh, it's it's yeah, another one of those classic pretty. wide shirts that we've got. There's about. a real breadth to it that's really nice that's to see. That's alright. I love it. Uh, what are you? How much do you think all these things would sell for on eBay? This is, I, I think if you sold all of them in a bundle, $2. <laughs> yeah. Waiting Holy for shit. Nintendo Ultra 64. The Ultra 64 was the prototype name of the N64. So, I, I think around, like, when the PS1 came out, people were like, no, I'm not getting that PS1. I'm waiting for the Ultra 64. That's that's crazy. That's an insane. honestly cool piece of... It's a great relic, yeah. Yeah. That's worth at least $2 by itself. Gosh. Nintendo Ultra 64. All right, what's, what else Why we got going on here? Why were they selling shirts of it before it was released? It's just like a sweater. Boring. What about this, though? Oh, wait, let's see. What do you got here? Oh, boy. That's this is a classic Ravnica? Nickel. Yeah. Yeah, Ravnica. Pre-release t-shirt. I don't, I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think no. you can get shirts. It was a very different time way back when. Yeah. Check this out. What is this? Does that logo look familiar to you, Mark? Oh, it doesn't. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Return to Castle. I played a lot of multiplayer R RTCW on the old, uh, the original Xbox. That's great. That's classic. What else God, we got? This, this goes on forever. Yeah, there's so many. Endless Just pick. a big oh, old G4 <laughs> logo. Found a QR code. I used to, yeah, this, this is, is before in... QR codes yeah, existed. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's weird. I used to wear this all the time. Very nice. I like, can't my, remember a time before QR codes. My attack of the show, <laughs> that's crazy. Giant bomb? What is that? Oh, the Oscar Mike shirt. Damn. That's relic. Totally forgot that ever existed. The big old. You want to hold on to that, Mark? GB, I might. What are you? I'm going to throw it over here for the time being. Just in case, an autographed oh. shirt from our cousin's old band. Great. Autographed. autographed. We worked real hard to get that autograph. Yeah. Oh, this was, uh, I think it was like when Katrina happened, they sold, uh, on Bungie's website, they sold a shirt, uh, and all the proceeds, or a lot of, like, the proceeds went to helping with Hurricane Katrina. So it says Fight the Flood. Very nice. Very clever. It's on the back. Yeah. Halo Hur fans for Hurricane Relief 2005. <laughs> Nothing better than putting a big old year on something to yep. really date it. Yeah. Halo fans for Hurricane Relief 2005. Bungie. May have to keep that. Oh, yikes. Oh! Can't dance without air. That's, a, that's just... A, I think that was like at an anime convention they were selling that and, and my mom got that for us. That's a, Was it the legendary symbol from Halo? That's a long just sleeve. Just prove that you can do it. Yeah, but I, the thing is I super can't. I suck at Halo. So that can go there. Another GameCube shirt. Oh, dude, no, you want Holy that? Holy oh. shit, no way. Oh, my goodness. The amount of stain removal I'm going to do to recover this. What's up with the collar on this bad boy? And also, <laughs> yeah, the crazy collar. And also, when does I ever do a karate kick? That's Wait, have you seen the back? Have you seen the back of it? It's great. Yo! -ho! That's my boy. That's so good. That's my He's boy right shiny. there. He's real shiny. Yeah. He is. It's a, not the highest quality print, but... <laughs> That's that amazing. official monkey ball merch is hard to come by. This we could do this all day. This is yeah, gonna be a right. long video. What? A, ooh, we can, we can edit it down if need. Here, be. look. Let's look at the sleeve first. Whoop. Who's that? Rockstar Games. All right. My favorite Rockstar game of all time, Max Payne Two: The Fall of Max Payne, right there. Nice. Remedy Entertainment. That's good. And you can just start collecting shirts for all of my interests. <laughs> so, like, 10, 15 years now, you can go back through a big box of <laughs> this one's inside smelly out. shirts. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Oh, what could it be? What's on this inside out shirt? Oh, Mark, this this is easy. By the way, the Mario Kart Double Dash oh. standee in the background. Uh, this is just my other painkiller shirt. Oh, nice. Uh, Heaven's Got a Hitman. Heaven's Got a Hitman. This, That's good. So Good stuff. Good merch there. Some more bathing suits. More board shorts. No <laughs> shortage of board shorts. Can you do a little unfold yeah. for me? Yeah, whoop, what are we whoop, looking whoop, at? Whoop. Okay. Something awful t-shirt. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh, my God. Goodness, I sure was a 15 year old boy. That's right. I sure was posting on GBS and YCS like a teen. What could you be? Interesting. Professional RFID. This is before RFID like was a thing though, which is extra stupid. It yeah. was just like a, I think this is like a Think Geek shirt. 
Very nice. See, oh, all just, that. Is this like mentality? Just kind of reflects a little bit. I just want to get to the the more video game stuff. Here's something. I see a Sega logo. Ooh. Oh, dude, what is this that? looks Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. Super dope. Oh, I love it. No, Tenchu Kurenai. I've got this. I remember I got this at a Suncoast. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's it. it. No, I got this on the internet. It had a big that's old nice. anime lady on it. Did it was it say Tenchu Deadly Shadow? Yeah. No, Fatal Shadows. They and then a little Sega logo on the sleeve. Very nice. I feel like we're getting to the bottom yeah. here. Everyone, my favorite band, of course, Our Lady <laughs> Peace, who I definitely listened to for almost a whole year. Damn, almost a whole year. An F Zero GX yeah. shirt with like a hologramic shiny. Didn't the uh, Super Monkey Ball soundtrack guy work on this? Uh, same development team actually it was oh, Amusement yeah. Visions, who That's also right. made Monkey Ball. What's what are you? Oh my God, oh, Victoria's going to lose her mind when she sees this. Look at that, Noir, Very ADV. Nice. <laughs> Is any of that legible? Kind of. Just a bunch of like French. Anime French. Oh god. <laughs> Anime French. <laughs> All right. I feel Some like shoes. scraping the bottom of the barrel yeah, here, right. very literally. What's that? Gross. There's no place. I don't understand. It's a dumb wow. ass nerd joke. What is this? The just, best. It's just an original Xbox. I'll start holding them up like this. So Where this one you? on the front, there's a small oh. Xbox logo. What's on the back? Nothing. 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 Right. Okay. Xbox. This is so fun for me. I can't even yeah, it's explain. Just, it's just cool. Is that just a thick black shirt? Might just be a thick black this is a. Uh, Are you trying to say that? This is my old clock. I used to listen to the BBC World Service on this bad boy every night while I played oh, Super Monkey Ball Junior. Oh, dude, this might be exciting. exciting for the Game me. Boy Advance. That will right or, uh, clock. This is the Dark back. watch. This Dark shirt watch. was interesting because it came in like a super compressed puck about this big, and it was all crunched up and vacuumed. And a Capcom logo on the front. Dark watch. One of the top. 40 percentile of original <laughs> Xbox shooters. Not memorable for anyone on Earth but me. I ran the Boston Marathon. I don't think you did that, Nick. Did I? I don't think I did that. <laughs> uh, is that it? Yeah. All right. That was a... Oh, and just a little DS pouch. Very Aww. nice. Gosh, that's that's nice. awesome. I mean, the, the whole reason we're doing this is we're trying to find one really valuable jacket that I remember having, but... No dice. That no long dice. Long shirt was a good find. I'm just gonna poke my head in here. Oh, there's there's Anthony's old laptop case when he gave me his old like six year old MacBook. Some mm. good stuff on there. Oh, Nick, would you like a uh, copy for Pursuit Force for the PSP? Oh, hold up! I know this is already like 12 minutes long. This is a Pursuit Force demo disc. Pursuit Force was great though. Demo disc. Hold on a second. What what Robert? Yeah, I'm just. Figuring out what the concept of a demo disc Why does the dude in Pursuit Force look like a really young version of the guy from Half-Life? The... Who's the, <laughs> who's the guy who stares at you? I don't know. Creepy guy creepy in Half-Life 2? It's very young creepy guy from Half-Life 2. I'm so ashamed. Someone in the comments is screaming right now because I can't remember this. There's a His disc in here. Big. Oh, here's an Xbox demo disc with Sega GT 2002 actually, that's and not, Jet Set Radio Future. That's not actually a demo disc. That has both games on it. Oh, really? Yeah, it came with certain models of the Xbox. Yep, there's my Pursuit Force demo disc. The UMDs were cool as hell, by the way. Nick, check this out. A DJ Hero controller. This is wow. just... I lived in garbage. Let me, yeah, let me get in here. because this yeah. looks like. The, the would you like cool... to watch Shaolin Soccer? Because you can do that. Let's see. Let's get these discs out. Soul Calibur 3. Age of Empires 3, my original pain man, disc, disc 3 of Painkiller, disc 3 of Age of Empires, the Transformers PS2 game that was actually pretty good that people slept on, DDR Kona Mix for the PS1. I do, I remember that PS2 Transformers game, it was good. It was good, it had like a lot of physics, copy of Shaolin Soccer on DVD, I Classic. guess. Let's see. It's a good movie. <laughs> More Age of Empires discs, the War Chiefs expansion. So many. This this closet is like a gradient of old to new. Like the stuff on top is from a few years ago. Because we just piled it on. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Metal Gear Very Acid, acid. 2. This came with this game was crazy because it came with a 3D mode. Gameplay and trailers can be viewed in 3D. Let's see if we've got what it takes in here. Yes! Very so you, nice. You wrap this thing around your PSP. <laughs> and uh, look at this. This is the first Oculus, man. Yeah, for real. This is so rad. Toby Acid. Solid Eye. That's buck wild. That's ridiculous. 
What did I buy that day at GameStop? Let's see here. I bought Super Monkey Ball. Surprising. I traded in Super Monkey Ball. What? T.O. But maybe it was because I was getting Monkey Ball Deluxe. Maybe. I got 10 bucks for it and bought Metal Gear Acid 2. For $40. That's crazy. That GameStop does not exist anymore. Rest in peace. What else? Oh, jeez, dude. What we got? Uh, one, I think this was the first game I ever imported. DJ Max Portable on the PSP, which you can't get uh, on the Vita, sadly. You well, can get, like, DJ a, Max 3. It's got dynamic sound creation, so. It does. It's good. This game has one of my favorite game soundtracks ever. Is the disc in there? No. There's a just like drawing of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You can just edit that on out. Uh, like... No, I'm good. I'll probably hold on to that. <laughs> Wait, can you flip through the manual of this real yeah. quick? Great. Okay. Good stuff. Great. Lots of Japanese. It's Korean, actually. Oh, my bad. Yeah. All the different modes. Remember when games had manuals that were printed in color? Yeah, for real. Alter Echo. What oh, I remember that. that. Oh, what good. is that? This is an Alter Echo demo disc. It was a PS2 game. I'm just like comprehending what a what a demo disc is. Nick, <laughs> Nick, I would like to. Uh, I just found like eight more Age of Empires three discs. I would like to read you another demo disc. The lyrics to "On" with lyrics by Bean and composed by Andy Lee. Okay. I want someone to get it on. You make it fat it on. <laughs> I want you to know this piece. Piece, can you know? You want to make it? Let me know. It's a beautiful poem. <laughs> oh, I'm taking all this home with me. This is there's some amazing. Yeah. Forte really... Escape, dude. The best. All right. I, I... What in the world does that mean? Uh, rock well, is frock update. Rock is frock update. Yeah, that's so fun. Yo, killed. That's kidding. Get a like this in like this coming. Get a like this in rock or die. Kill him. That's kidding. Rock or funk die. it up. Fuck. Funk his crew. <laughs> funk is struck. Rock or die. Well, man, this is. Amazing. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm so glad we opened that manual. All right, I think that's. Oh god, amplitude. <gasps> I s oh, believe I game. saw a Polytron a logo in there. It's a good game. You're the pin with the Fed logo. Or Probably. Mm -hmm. I, I doubt it. Is I that like... Polytron? Oh, that is. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Yeah. Polytron logo. You gotta take that. That's nice. Awesome. All right. Well, I've made a huge pile of garbage in my childhood bedroom, and I have to get on a plane soon, so I'm gonna go clean this up. This is a long video, but yeah. I really. Oh, I enjoyed this trip. Any any parting words for us? Yeah, yeah, new track by my man Crew. Come on, yeah. That's right. Kill a rhymes, JC. Yeah, yeah, yeah.